Hello everybody and welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And as you recall last time, we uh, got our glider, which is huge. And we talked to, was it Robbie I think, or Chasha? One of them. And we found out that uh, we want to go into the depths. Oh no, Robbie is uh, busy, that's right. We want to go meet up with Robbie. So we are going to do that. I see a shrine off there in the distance too. We might do that too. Looks like it's uh, where we want to be anyway. So we will go there. Oh, that's right, I could do that. This is a distraction game, just to let you know. <laughs> I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. <laughs> ah, people do fuss, don't they? If this is your first visit, talk to that soldier soldier in the center. I can words. In the center of our little fort over where you hoping to register a horse. We're still getting things to gather on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses a while. Oh jeez. No, 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 no. We're bye. Just no. Bye. So we're gonna go um, investigate that chasm over there. I mean, it's just right over here. Actually, that's right over there. Hello. I hate phone boys. How about no? That was very rude when I was doing a thing. Okay, go. Give me all your stuff. Where did it freaking go to now? That was so freaking rude. I was looking over there. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna look for that one, but I'm gonna go to this one first. Because that's what you do. You don't get distracted. Look, there's bees. I am gonna leave the bees alone. Yep, this is the camp. This is where we want to be. See? I real failed chasm. But I'm gonna ignore it for right now. Because I'm gonna go get a fast travel. Perfect. I'm probably just going to be getting shrines along the way of like the main story. And then I can do like the rest of them in like bonus videos at the very end of the game. That's, I've, I know I've said that before, but that's my main objective. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. There is a few things though I do want to do in this playthrough, so I'm probably going to do it anyways. Okay, you are... I was supposed to do that, right? Yes. Oh yeah, the next room is a different thing. That's right. Ah. Gotcha. Let's go get you. I said, Oh, please. Really? Oh my. Okay.
Okay, this way, I think. Yes. There we go. I just get up on the ledge link. Thank you. Oh, I'll take it. I will take the elixir. Okay, let me go here. Through the hole, please. Oh, please. Just go through the freaking hole. Okay, we will do this. That is not what I meant to do. Is that what I meant to do? Or is it? Perfect. It works. Does the job. That's all that matters. Uh, now we can go into the deep, 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 deep. That's nice. Thank you, Rar. Heart sediment, it takes time to burrow through blah, 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 something, something. Don't care. You have a person over here. Oh. Hey, traveler. I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health. Folks are calling it gloom. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength, like it's sapping your life away. Hmm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. The worst of it will recover on its own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface, but while you're in, or in light, basically. So won't, but while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Some investigation leader I turned out to be, this is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Devil, so I really want to recover by the money. Okay. See, and this is what happens. No, no, Traveler, don't do it! If you touch that, well... I was showing them! It'll, <laughs> It'll sap your strength, and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Or, and as you see it, like, please be careful. Okay, he's just going to say the same thing. As you see, it like breaks your hearts. That's what it does. It does that, and that's, you know, thing that it does. So you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Hey there. You're a bit late. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not a member of the Monster Control crew. Sorry, we just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's faces. Oh. So we speak Squad 1, the Monster Control crew. But, oh, this is fun. Yeah, this we'll, we might do this later. I don't know. Ah. Like I said, I want this playthrough to mostly be like the four regions and blah, blah, blah. The main story stuff. And then we can save, like, all the side questing and stuff for, like, bonus content. If you go south on that road, you can see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. I am certainly not going to get sidetracked, but um, I wish them luck. 
Just here for logistical support. Any, me too. Me too. Think of it, I did make some elix extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Like I'm handy during your travels. Oh, that will actually come in handy. Thank you. I wish someone with experience fighting monsters was here to help. I'm sure you do. Anywho, let's go over here. Oh, watch this. Watch. Whoa! Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. And yes, I, yeah, yeah, I just did. I, hmm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Don't start on me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Good thing there's a freaking light there. Splat. No, I, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. The depths. And as you see now, we have like this. Very, very big, very, very big map. And that is going to be fun. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Ah. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. I have some, so I lost sight of him. Ah. I thought he was taking a short walk over there, that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going? What is he, the Energizer Rabbit? And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. How do you freaking know the direction down here, I swear? Do you have any? I do. Ah. That's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if you light up if struck. So they're pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai server team. Simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Yeah, our arrows. You yeah, blah blah blah. I know. I'm left with a bow, we'll attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. I like to just throw them, though, honestly. Because then if you use the, uh, that glowing area over there, you'll see what happens. Ah. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Okay, we're going to go over here. Let's see, we just do this. Need to uh, catch some of these. Keep Firefly. Thank you. I'll take one of you. And one of you and one of you. Take all of you. And you went away. Okay. Thank you. Well, if only you knew what to do with this. I know what to do with this. I can examine it. That's what I'm going to do with this. And we get map. Yep, there we go. 
The light route dispelled into the darkness and brightness mining area. And when you stand under here too, it can, it's enough light that it can actually, oh, there's another one over there, cool. Perfect. We will go to that one. Let's go talk to this guy just because. Let's see what he says. But at least they have a way out. Oh. You told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Oh, you're just gonna. Same thing. Oh. You are literally gonna say the same thing. You're not gonna comment. Okay. Oh. All right. Ah. Oh. I thought he would comment on it. Honestly, that's a little disappointing. And I wish I had more stamina. I do. I do. I do. Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should... This is Robbie, I'm guessing. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm... Anyway, I'm off to the glowing... That's also telling of something, just, you know, that they do coincide with the uh, shrines. I'm off to the glowing root, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the one you can see in the distance, yeah. That's good. That's good for you. Let's run through the gloom. Let's go get some more firefly thingies. Because I am a hoarder. And I want to get all the firefly things. Well, I also want to get these. And that. Because these. Because these muddle buds are really useful. Okay, what is... What does your journal say? Hey, you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you'll be asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, I'd be... It'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest, though, through my goggles. It's shaped like a figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west toward one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Good for you, Robbie. Good for you. Oh, do I see what I think is? Bomb flowers? I will take those bomb flowers. Any more bomb flowers? We'll take all the bomb flowers. I said do this. Yeah. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but okay, it works. Yes. And that is a dark choo choo. Or a gloom choo choo, as you might want to call it. Puff Shroom. Those are actually useful too. I don't really use them too much in my other playthrough. But they can be useful for sneak strikes. I was trying to catch you, but whatever. Yeah. There are enemies there.
I ran out of stamina. Boo! There's Robbie. Let's impress him real quick. See, and this should be under that other shrine that we marked off on the map. Because as he pointed out in his journal, they are directly below the shrines. Where are you? There you go. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing here, it makes me feel so much better. How strange. How? Oh. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what you've... or what I found. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one-armed raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us of, on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get the camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot. You hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the PurePad's basic features. Hmm. Give me that PurePad for a second, alright? Sure. We will do that. There's the problem your camera is locked. And so your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this, well, you pull this, and then you tap that, and. We have the camera! Perfect! That's the main reason I came down here. That'll work. And I mean just to meet to see what Robbie was up to, you know. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Yeah, sure. Let's get it from this angle, I guess. Perfect. Hey you, how'd that go? If you captured an image of that statue in your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. His freaking goggles, I swear. <laughs> uh, so, did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's going down, what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you looking at landing. Don't make Josh wait too long for that picture. Yeah, that's perfect. We're going to do a little bit of exploring and then we'll head back. Because I do want to, like... Oh, there's a freaking enemy there. I want to take a picture of the dark one, just because... Because 
why not? I'll probably take a picture of the one on the surface too, but I want to take pictures of these ones because it's funny. Take a picture of that. Can't take a picture of that? Boo. Rude. Zonite deposit. Oh, perfect. And he's mining it. Okay. I think the enemies down here are gloom monsters basically because they've been infected with the gloom. But I think they're literally down here to mine. Which is kind of interesting, not going to lie. Little bud. Let's try that, I guess. Give me that zone Give me that zone you had there. No. Rude. Okay, that weapon I do not like. We'll do this one. And I will find something better. I'll put this one. Yeah. And I'll take all this stuff because, of course, I will. Actually, we're going to break it with this. Give me all that. Because this stuff, we do need zonite. Because I do want uh, more battery. Large zonite. I'll take it. that I guess we could just warp back to a uh, lookout landing because I think we're done here yeah we'll we'll warp back I think we're gonna be done here for for the depths for now So let's go see what uh, Joshua has to say. Joshua, Joshua, I don't know how you pronounce it. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Oh, hello. Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Hmm. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> You've got the same name as that famous sort... I don't know. Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Wow. Oh. Well, let's not tell him. I work for the Lucky Clover's Gazette. 
I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebworth to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge to Lee's Dorito Village. Stop by if you're up for an adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Till then, so long. Sure thing. I literally had to wait for him to leave. Okay. Okay, Robbie. Uh, guess what? Let's get a better view here. There we go. Hey, you. I have a name, dude. Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool too. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people some sort of whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibility there's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? I know what it's for. I want the, the what's on your shelf over there too. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Ella, so hopefully you'll find them useful. <laughs> oh, you did give them. They're gone over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. That was what was on your shelf. Now we're closer to understand one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles. Swordsman, thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Yeah, you, you know, just saying, yeah. Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The pier pad has even more potential functions, you know. Listen up. Big update here. Your pier pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the pier pad research lab in Hateno Village. That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the pier pad. Which Pure and I developed. And yet it's not called the Pure and Robbie pad, just that sink let that let that sink in. Once I'm at that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Pure pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluta, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule, on its far side of Hateno Village. Go a bit further than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the look fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. But for now, Jess's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Yeah, so we'll have to do that later. Pose. Yeah, I haven't found any... Wait, I didn't see any pose down there this time. I wonder if that was intentional. Anyways... I could go do that shrine that I pinned, but I think that's been enough for this episode, so I'm going to cut it right there. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell. And remember, we'll see each other next time. Bye-bye!